a lot of very happy and very special memories there. And I sense that our whole service today has been reminding us so clearly that we're here today because Mick has lived. We've known him and we've loved him and in all sorts of special ways his life has touched our life and brought enrichment and blessing. So let's thank God and celebrate Mick's life. Gracious and loving God, thank you for the gift of life. You have made us in your image and you have called us to reflect your truth and your light. And God, we thank you for Mick and we celebrate his life. Especially we do give you thanks for those ways in which we have known and loved him. Those ways, special ways in which his life has touched and brought blessing and enrichment to us. We thank you for his family and his friends, for the wonderful contribution that he's made in this community of Upper Beaconsfield and here in this Christian community of St John's. Thank you for his many interests, the activities that he so enjoyed, Lord, thank you for those so many qualities in his life. Thank you for his faith, his hope, his love. And above all, Lord, we thank you for your gracious promise to all your servants living and departed that there is nothing in all creation that will ever be able to separate us from the love of God, which is ours in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, gracious and loving God, thank you for receiving Michael by baptism into the family of your church on earth. And you granted him the gift of eternal life. It was here that he received with us the bread of life and drank from the cup of salvation. We give you thanks and praise for all your gracious goodness to Michael. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Loving God, we remember in our prayers Mike's family and his friends. Especially we pray for COC. We pray for Elizabeth and Jason and for their partners Simon and Caitlin. For Mike's grandchildren. Olivia, Isabella, Edie, Harry, for Kiara and Jack. We pray for all whose sense of loss is so real. Lord, when we cannot understand the things that happen, and when we are weighed down by grief and loneliness, uphold us in your love. Give us the assurance of your constant care, that we may have courage for the days ahead, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As our Lord has taught us, we are confident to pray. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Seashore by Henry Van Dyke. I am standing upon the seashore. A ship at my side spreads her white sails to the morning breeze and starts for the blue ocean. She is an object of beauty and strength. I stand and watch her until at length she hangs like a speck of white cloud 
just where the sky, sea and sky come to mingle with each other. Then someone at my side says, there, she is gone. Gone where? Gone from my sight. That is all. She is just as large in mast and colour <coughs> and spar as she was when she left my side. And she is just as able to bear her load of living freight to her destined port. Her diminished size is in me, not in her. And just at the moment when someone at my side says, there, she is gone. There are other eyes watching her coming and other voices ready to take up the glad shout. Here she comes and that is dying. do our final farewell, our blessing. No doubt you all have been triggered in memories of your experiences with Michael, and can I please encourage you to hold on to those memories, to think about them and uh, to share them as we go for afternoon tea after this service. It's actually really important that we share those stories because that's when they stay alive, that's when we laugh and we we learn new things about one another. So if you've had a memory triggered this, this afternoon or this morning, I please I encourage you to share it with one another. Straight after the final farewell and the blessing as we uh, go towards the hearse outside, the family will be going to a private burial. Can I encourage you please to head all the way into the hall and in there you will find the CWA put on a wonderful afternoon tea for everybody. The new government restrictions are in place as of uh, last night and the night before. The only rule that will um, affect us is two things. One, our two square metre rule. That means that I encourage you all uh, to make sure that you are, you know, there's not too many people in that room. At this rate, we're fine. If this many people went into the hall, we're not uh, abusing those numbers. Secondly, please keep your masks on unless you are eating and put them on straight away afterwards. If you need a fresh mask, there are some at the door there and please continue to hand sanitise. Thirdly, the government has made it clear that when we're having food at venues, um, unvaccinated people are not allowed to eat. I don't understand the rule. Um, I'm just telling you what the government has told us. Um, so if you are unvaccinated and you've got any questions about that, please come and see me when I get back. You are more than welcome to come and join us in that room and uh, share your stories. Um, we will have some food available in here, or you can grab something and come in here and eat it if that applies to you. I do not mean to segregate you at all. Um, we just do need to follow the government rules. It's not my rules, it's, it's the government rules laid down. Lord Jesus Christ, you offer new birth to all who turn to you in faith. Grant that Michael's death may recall to us your victory over death and be an occasion for us to renew our trust in your Father's love. Give us, we pray, the faith to follow where you have led the way, to live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us entrust Michael Stewart, King Oliver, to the mercy of God. Holy and loving Father, by your mighty power you gave us life, and in your love you have given us new life in Christ Jesus. We entrust Michael Stewart, King Oliver, to your merciful King in the faith of Jesus Christ, who died and rose again to save us, and now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, in glory forever. Amen. Before I do my blessing, our final hymn,
hymn this morning is How Great Thou Art. Another one chosen by Michael. When that song starts, uh, I'm going to invite the family to come forward and follow direction from Tobin Brothers. When the song finishes, I encourage you, you can stay here for as long as you need or walk straight into the hall, that is up to you. The family will come back and join you in the hall. Please stand. Thank you. 